It all started with the E-Machines PC, which I got last July, and uh, this is probably my most current used PCs. And last, uh, yesterday, I got this device for 1,299 dirhams, in which in dollars is 350 dollars. Uh, actually, in, actually in the US it is 499, so I saved quite a lot of money on it. But anyways, what is it? It's a new netbook. Yes, I had to get a netbook because uh, I need it for school next year. Yes, in schools, in my school, uh, you sometimes need to get a laptop for school, so lucky me. <laughs> okay, so, but anyways, I got a new netbook. It's a Samsung, and, and I got quite a good offer, although I didn't get really much free, except for some Office trial, McAfee, some free for uh, software, and some other stuff. Okay, so anyways. Let me show you the exterior first. So it's white color, but if you look, let me close it. It's it has a red cover. I'm thinking of adding some designs to it at the top, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let me just show you around. It's very slim, not very very slim, but it's slim enough. You can see the exterior. So let me just show you what are the ports. You can see these blue LEDs. And if I look at the sides, there is a headphone port microphone there's already a built-in microphone now that's sweet uh... usb port LAN, charger and the battery is at the back it also comes with a stand so that's nice let me show you the other side i got my mouse connected right here this is my mouse it's very small actually i got this four years ago but uh, oops. uh... but now it's for good use so there's another usb port VGA port to uh, for projectors. It's very easy to put a project. Wait a minute, I have another USB port. I didn't notice that. Okay, so there's a VGA port for using a projector. It's very easy to do. I'm not sure what that slot is. Okay, so there's the power button right here. And what else have we got? We got built-in Bluetooth. Bluetooth is nice, and a webcam on top. So yay and it went on standby so I just light it back on okay it's turning on it didn't power off okay it just went on standby just wait a bit there we go now let's check out the specifications in the uh, hardware it's an Intel Atom processor of course Windows star 7 starter that comes in a shock now here's the thing I'm gonna get a 2 gig U sorry 8 gig USB tomorrow and I'm gonna upgrade this thing to Windows 7 Ultimate using the USB and then I'll do a dual boot with Windows XP and Windows 7 okay it says 1 gigs of RAM but here's the great part I'm gonna upgrade it to 2 gigs of RAM later on not immediately but how? I have to take the whole thing apart? no all I need to do is flip to the back turn it off of course there is a slot here which is the RAM slot open the cover of course remove the screw remove the cover the RAM will be already there. Just take it out, put the new 2GB DDR2 RAM in there, put the cover back on, you're done. That's all you have to do. So that's what I really like about netbooks. Upgrading the RAM is so easy. This also has an 8 hour battery, but since I optimized it for high performance, it's only around 4.5 hours. But still, 8 hour battery is very, very good. Okay, and uh, what else? It, it runs at 1.6 gigahertz, but it's v it's fast now. And the graphics is Intel GMA 3150, which is which is better than the ones in a Acer Aspire One, which is the GMA 950. Okay. So what have I installed? I have GTA San Andreas. It's quite laggy because the RAM is not really good for Windows 7, so that's why I need to install XP. And then I can run San Andreas really well. Daemon tools, I need to install San Andreas. Yeah, the webcam software. Counter Strike 1.6, I got this from school. In every com computer in the IT lab, uh, it's got Counter Strike 1.6, so I got it from there. Lost Worlds, my game. And uh, the touchpad right here. So, nothing really much here. I got the browser right here. 
it runs quite fast, uh, except for Internet Explorer, there's some weird things going on. Even I got the wallpaper for Google, they have this new wallpaper option, I'll show you that in a bit later. Okay, so, uh, that's it for everything else, but let me just show you Counter-Strike for those who really want to know how the graphics are in this. It does work very well, 1 gigs of RAM, but it's Windows 7, so you'll never know how the performance is going to be. So, let me just pull this back so I can show you. And let's load it up. This is the portable by version, by the way, so... Alright, so we're at the end of the extraction. It's loading up now. I'm running it at 800 by 600 pixels. That's a little bit higher. Causes a little lag. Not so much. But this netbook is not really for graphics. It is actually... It, it is able to play the games, but Windows 7 is not really that capable at this performance. Okay. Volume is pretty high in this netbook. It is high, but the speakers are crap. Sort of crap. And, uh... I'm not sure the brightness is too much, but who cares. Okay, so let me just show you the settings. OpenGL, 800 by 600, medium, color bit, color quality. Uh, 16 bit, you know. Okay. Internet doesn't work in this, but uh, at least we can play. It's a new game. CS Italy, it's included about 10 bots. I'm going to make this easy because this is a video and I don't want to embarrass myself. If I was playing Modern Warfare 2, then I could have shown you. So 60,000 money to start. It works alright. I mean, you can play this, I mean, really well. It runs sometimes at around uh, 20 to 30 frames per second at times. So. Okay, let's play. Let's go. See, it, work, it works fine, you know? I mean, like, it works. Yeah. Come on, you scaredy cat. Where the hell did he come from? Can just go on? Yes. Ah, can't believe it. That's it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can go on. And I'm sure you know how it goes. The game runs well, as you, you know the usual. Okay, so that's about it. That's about my new netbook, and I need to download a better Counter Strike because this one takes some time to extract. But anyways, I'll go do my work while you guys watch other videos on YouTube. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, watch and subscribe for more. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day.